Hey guys, back here from Pat here. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to identify certain insect pest damage on your plants. And I'm gonna show you how I use my neem oil to attack those or to treat those pests. Guys, so this is a neem oil that I'm gonna be using. This is Neem Max Captain Jack's. Um, you can get this at Home Depot Lowe's. I, th I think several different stores. This really, um, kills a whole bunch of different pests it, like the vine borers your aphids your spider mites gypsy moth white flies pottery mildew rust so this is really good for a whole range of different things and i like to use a concentrate to me it makes more sense to use a concentrate this concentrate this little bottle makes up to 20 gallons because you only need like a couple tea couple tablespoons per gallon um, be sure to read instructions. The instructions tells you based on what kind of con what kind of insects there is, or if it's a heavy in infestation versus a light infestation, or if it's for disease control or soil treatment. Yeah, just the tablespoons based on what you're doing. So be sure to read the instructions. The great thing about this, guys, is that neem oil does not affect the natural um, pollinators, the bees. Um, all the natural pollinators, it does not affect those at all. It's just those chewing, sucking insects that it, um, it's going to um, affect. So that is pretty safe. Be sure to add a tablespoon of some kind of soap, like an organic soap, just to make sure, you know, oil and water doesn't mix. So it, by adding the soap and filling, it, filling the jug up to the, water, to the one gallon level and shaking it up then it'll help the neem oil to stick and affect the plants all right so guys let's go ahead and spray our tree guys um the best time to spray neem oil or any of these kind of things is very early in the morning or preferably late in the evening um so that way it has a time to the absorb into the plants and it you know the, the hot sun doesn't come out and that can sometimes so burn the plants it's safe for bees, so it's now late evening it's probably about an hour before it gets insects. dark or less than an hour it's probably like half an hour before it gets dark and guys as you can see see on my guava tree the leaves look terrible the leaves have this black um sooty mold on it and what this black sooty mold is what happens is if you see plants with black sooty mold most likely when you turn the leaf over, you're gonna see some kind of spider mites or aphids or white flies or one of those sucking insects. So what causes a black sooty mold um, is when the sucking insect, whether it's aphids, spider mites, um, those kind of sucking insects, when, when they suck the leaf, they excrete um, like a honeydew, right? You see right there, that's a mealybug right there. They secrete like a honeydew. And then the honeydew attracts this black sooty mold fungus. The black sooty mold fungus feeds on the honeydew. So a lot of times ants mine the, the insects from the soil and bring them up to the plants. They suck the plants and they, they excrete the honeydew. The ants like the honeydew and also it causes this um, black sooty mold fungus. This happens a lot, especially in rainy season that the fungus builds up. Um, as you guys know, I recently retired, so I'm literally doing damage control throughout my garden. I did see this coming like probably over a month ago, but I just didn't have the time till now to really properly take care of the, tr the trees. Um, as a matter of fact, it has, it has a couple guavas. I want to take these ripe guavas off before I start spraying. Um, neem oil is, is safe to spray up to the day of harvest, but uh, you know, and you can always just wash it off with water it's nothing harmful it's 100 percent organic as a matter of fact my friend from india she wanted to, to me to mail her neem leaves because she actually drinks neem tea every day neem oil is also used in a lot of health products um skincare products so it's 100 percent healthy however for chewing insects insects that you know suck the life out of the plant or chew on the leaves neem oil is deadly for them so so that's a lesson on what this is. You know, I, I do have some spider mites underneath the leaves and I do have, as, you, as I, sh I showed you, um, mealybugs and I'm pretty sure I have aphids. As a matter of fact, I did notice on one of my fruit, let me see if it's this one. I did notice on one of the fruits earlier 
and I'm not going to see it now that I'm looking for it. Um, one of the fruit was actually covered with aphids and I'm not seeing it right now. But let me see if I can see it so I can show you what it looks like. I had wiped off most of the aphids when I saw it and then I stopped because I wanted you guys to see it. But So this plant basically has spider mites, it has aphids, it has a whole lot of things going on. All that sucking causes the excretions and hence the sodium bowl. Anyway, enough talking. I think you guys understand it. I'm going to set my camera up and start spraying. As a matter of fact, got to kind of move fast. So when you're spraying th this plant, um, once once you get it get it under control you can just literally hose this off all this will just come off easily you can see some of it is already coming off um it's very easy to come off it's very easy to wash off once it's dried on and you know once it rains a couple of times or i can just take the hose but for now i'm gonna wait let's pump this up let's get this pumped up and i'm using a ortho pump sprayer I have one pump spray that I use for um, insect repellents and another one I use for fertilizing. All right, so of course I wash them out in between. Just finished spraying my papaya trees because I had some black fungus um, on the papaya leaves, but I use copper fungicide for that because that's what kills fungus. And for neem oil, I mean for insect damage that I'm, I'm attacking today, I'm going to use neem oil. So as you can see, I'm spraying both the underside of the leaves and above the leaves just to make sure that I get everywhere that the insects could be. Nine times out of ten, guys, the insects like to hide underneath the leaves. So I always go all the way up, all the way around, spraying under the leaves. I'm not too concerned about spraying the fruit. Just going all the way up. You can see these newer leaves are nice and green. Nothing has attacked this yet. So spraying it anyway, just to make sure that the insects don't go from the infected leaves that are sprayed onto these new fresh leaves. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and finish spraying top side, bottom side. Another thing, why this is very important, guys, um, why the, while a fungus in itself may not directly kill the plant, if a plant, if all the leaves are black, it's not going to be able to properly photosynthesize. Plus, you can see how unhealthy these leaves look that have been damaged for a while. So without photosynthesis, you're not going to get the plant um, sending out new blossoms. And the whole idea of having a fruit trees is that you're going to get fruit. So I'm making sure, what is this here? I'm making sure, you can see that was some kind of insects right there that ate through that leaf. That's a sucking insect damage. Yeah, so you wanna make sure that um, you're getting every, every single leaf. You're getting every leaf so that you can get new blossoms. Um, I had sprayed, not with neem oil, but I had sprayed with some kind of fertilizer to help the tree along. Um, with some seaweed and I had sprayed with some seaweed and aspirin like a week or so ago and I did see my first bud but normally this this guava tree guys it, it it will send out blossoms or fruit like literally year round so I was getting a little bit concerned because I wasn't seeing any new leaves I wasn't seeing any new blossoms but now that I'm treating it with this neem oil I should be seeing new blossoms soon so guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna go ahead and finish um, making sure everything is sprayed. I'm probably gonna spray this hibiscus that's right beside it because a lot of times insects like hibiscus. Um, so I'm gonna spray this neighboring plant. If this had this much damage, very, very likely they're, they're gonna, they, they could try to migrate to the hibiscus. But hope this taught you something about how to identify sucking insects, even if you don't see them, you know, once you see this, guys, it's because of the sucking insect. It's not necessarily because of the mold. Um, neem oil will also kill the mold. So it, it does a good job with, with both of them, with both the mold and the sucking insects. All right, guys, till next time.
Bye now. Hope you enjoyed and I hope you learned something new.